Alright, so you don't know, you're watching the Yabala podcast. I'm your host, Naldo Adi, and today I'm joined by Chris Nick. Oh, and um, for this segment, we want to talk about the the remainder of the top seven. So we have already spoken about the champions, and um, we want to speak about the top seven now. Reason being the top seven, because you don't know that um, the, to qualify for Europe, you have to finish within those seven positions. You see me, I say? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend for the YouTube people. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for me, maybe be my one first. So obviously, as I said before, Chelsea will is winning the league for me this year. Right. So finishing second for me will be Manchester City, defending champions. Third, Manchester United. So you're expecting regression from Manchester United as they finish second last year. Yeah, season. like... Even like it's gonna be a close race, yeah. now. Like I feel like the race, the title race this season, like in between those three teams, it's gonna be, be like, like two to three points. It's gonna be much more competitive mm-hmm. than how it, how it has been in recent. Yeah, years. But man, man, first City dominate last year. They did finish with like probably about ten points ahead of United. Liverpool did that. Di- um, before Liverpool, Liverpool did that like, dominate before. Before, so like this year is definitely going to be closer. You see me, I say. So mm-hmm. yeah, as I said. Probably about a point or two or three between those top three teams. Right. Finishing fourth for me would be Liverpool. Primarily because I don't think Leicester like reached that level they had for cement them place in at the top I four. Mean, they've proven it. They've proven that they're not at exactly. that Exactly. Like about January, February, just see them start for fade out. You see right. me? So maybe another couple of years or next year or so. And um, why I have Liverpool so low is because obviously... Chelsea, City and United have made significant improvements and additions to their teams whilst um, Liverpool only they still signed rely Cod- upon, They still rely upon Salamani and Firmino, Firmino yeah. and, they, and Jota I guess Yeah, and they only signed Konate for strengthening the back line I don't think that will be And enough. not even strengthen the starting line strengthen up the depth of the yeah, back line And they haven't found a replacement for um, Gini and Alum as yet and I, I mean, think that will be Harvey Elliott has been playing really well Yes, but Harvey Elliott is not going to do it over the course of a season to compete for a Premier League title. Say that though. I am saying that. Check me back at the end of the season, <laughs> you will see that Harvey Elliott is will not be the, a capable replacement for Gene Wijnaldum this year. This year, maybe further along in the future, mm-hmm. but for compete for the league this year. That are too much pressure for put on young. Uh, I mean, area. I do agree that it's a downgrade, and even though he's a promising youngster, mm. he's still not mm. where Wijnaldum is, mm. right? So it is a downgrade, but I think that he's a capable youngster. All right, so that's it for me. So for my Champions League places, Chelsea first, City second, United third, Manchester United third, and Liverpool fourth. Um, the Europa League positions for me, fifth and sixth, fifth and sixth, rather. Um, I have Leicester mm. in fifth, and um, Tottenham in sixth, and then last but not least in seventh for me will be West Ham. Right. Shout out, shout out goes to Villa. Right, Maybe right. Villa can sneak in, but sneak in at the, in at the, in at the fifth, sixth, seventh region. But for me, that would be my um, top seven. And your European places, Chris Nick, give me your top seven. You don't say United are win the league. Yeah, already. so it may have may actually have Chelsea second. Can we believe Chelsea Chelsea has a squad that can compete on all fronts mm-hmm. and I think that that might be the downfall. I feel mm-hmm. that because they might in at everything till yeah, the latter stages. We're com- we're, remember you know, we have league we have FA Cup, we have Carabao Cup, Champions League. we have Champions League, we have the, Club, the World Club, Club World Cup. Right. We have five competitions, you know. Is it and they have the squad to handle it, but you don't know it go already when you have focused upon multiple things. You can't really zoom in on one thing. Facts. So I think that with, with, with that being said, Chelsea second, Man City third. And I know this might be weird, Man City third, but I do not expect it to be like it to be... Man City third after after PS by nine points. No, mm. it's going to be a extremely close. Like second and third could be separated by goal difference. Fox, 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 straight Fox. Like that's how close I expect the championship to actually be this year. Mm-hmm. Fourth, Liverpool for the same reasons you you said. Liverpool 
has failed to truly improve their team while the other big three teams have improved significantly. Yeah, yeah, Manchester yeah. United, Varane, Ronaldo, Chelsea, Lukaku, mm. um, City. Grealish. <coughs> Grealish. One man, but still, <coughs> you don't know. I mean, they're never weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before, like, I still City. So like. I still City, right. And it's like them get a new signing with Gabriel Jesus by playing him on the wing. Because, you know, so the man looks so far. Yeah, you know, three games still. Yeah. Let's, let's not overreact. No, but... but Compared to how he was playing throughout all the last year, that three game, yeah, even Ferran Torres through the middle. Man, <laughs> man, I could see what the magician Pep have been scoring. Yeah, yeah, I never go on with three himself already. I never try something. Yeah, but, but City, I have City third. Not by not by far, by the way. And Liverpool fourth. Yeah. yeah. Reasons and like fifth, six, and seven. Fifth, Tottenham. Sixth, Leicester. Seventh, I agree, West Ham. Like everybody will once you watch West Ham, you just yeah, love man, West Ham. like West Ham I play some nice West, football. Yeah. Big up David Moyes. Like David Moyes kinda reinvent him in th- play and style. I right think now. the move to Manchester was not him. I feel like they made up him as the, the next Alex Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. You think it was too soon in his career or it's just not that type of like it was too big of a club for him? I don't want to diss him so guys are No man, you can't diss him man we're, 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 we're being honest over here uh, but Manchester United like, was too big for him Yeah, I feel like I, I'm a them type of manager they will make A side where though have that type of budget they as the bigger teams Make them Like them are play above them weight mm. and So like, like Everton back then Not, not right, right now Because Everton have money now They just right. not spend it good But they have money right. now right. And like a West Ham now mm-hmm. Yeah West Ham, West Ham Like when, when you watch West Ham play you're definitely going to get an entertaining match. Fox. All right, and just quick off of the top, um, who is it going down? Relegation side. Who do you think I get relegated? Now, which one? Uh, I mean, Brentford beat Arsenal, so. Norwich, Burnley. The reason I said Burnley is because I don't think Burnley has need. Um, significant improvement Bro, in their squad. I would counter that by saying Burnley does not make any improvements in the transfer window year in, year out, and they still manage Sean Dyke football. Them, brother, so Burnley will get them 30 points <laughs> by the hook or the crook. Burnley, so I don't think they'll get up to them. Not this year, no. <clears throat> All right. Who's, the, who's the last team? Yeah, man. That's fine. Who's the last team? Last team. one. I'm at a crossroads for the last team uh, simply because. I think Watford, I'm go at them, and Crystal Palace. I do not think Patrick Vieira is a very good coach. Mm. Based on him pass with New York, I think a New York City FC. I think that's the name. So and this, the side where the side where where Sky Blue like them have Manchester City. Them have yeah, New York Blue, City FC. Yeah. Them. I mean, I watch them and when they are coaching at the. French league, like he never really do much for us, eh? Why? Yeah, man, no one that bother to get a job. You see me? No. So right. if them keep him, like if him stay on for the whole season, cause he might get fired, and them sign a better manager, and, you know, bring them up. But if them keep him, Crystal Palace. If they don't, I think Watford will go down. All right, so bro, I would kind of disagree with you with your top um with your relegation three first of all before i get into that i just want to say i hope them don't fire vera and i hope them don't get relegated i hope he is successful only reason is because he's black, black. Oh, okay. we need more black man in our league we need more black faces in the premier league as you may say so right. patrick vera hope you have a successful season as well as you don't know Conor gallagher over the chelsea product so I hope him have a good season to and them prevail, is it me I say? Right. Yeah, so for my relegation three, I would like to give you a, a couple of contenders first of all. First one is Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first of all oh, is Arsenal. Boy. Arsenal Football Club. You don't know. Um well they are technically at the bottom like of the, the table right now. Yeah. yeah. If the season was championship. Down, down, <laughs> down, down, down. Arsenal will be going down so. Um we don't know if the mother tell it around right, fun and jokes aside. <laughs> Arsenal, me you know the mother eventually start win yeah. so much, but right now they be at the bottom of the table. So yeah. Next contender for me be Newcastle. 
Really? You know, every single year Newcastle always rounding about the relegation zone. Like them par around. Yeah, the like I feel them. I feel them ends that. You see me? Them love it down there. Them run off. You know, like them on the dan. Them always miss it by the skin of them teeth. You know, them just always doing enough for the lot of yeah, stages. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. So for me, Newcastle, they but like the definite three for me that I think will be going down. Now, which as I said, I agree with you there. Watford for me, mm-hmm. and then last but not least. Ooh, who else did you say? Burnley? Yeah, me just said Burnley. Uh, no, I'm gonna say Burnley. I go and for the last spot, kind of a shocker. Southampton. Ah. Possible. It's, it's very possible. Possible. The open style of playing the Leeds can do it, you know. Because Leeds have like the better football. Better, better players, but Southampton, they yeah, in a third. I feel like they're going to finish 18th. Like, mm-hmm. They're going to be the, like, the top of the relegation. It's the last day. It's a tough, it's a tough, but I could see still 